Hello everybody hope you guys are doing great welcome to my channel before i even start i just want to ask you guys just in case if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do because it would be a great motivation for me to continue doing what i do and you would get regular notifications of whenever i upload any new video all right guys coming back to the topic of this video today i will be discussing about each and everything related to scholarships at christ university I know a lot of you people have personally messaged me commented on my videos saying bhaiya how can we apply for scholarships at Christ University can, do they have scholarships at Christ University and all those things so don't worry guys in this video all your doubts and every information that you need to have about scholarships at Christ University will be cleared and you would know everything that you need to know This video is super important not only for the freshers who are just applying to Christ University but also for the students who are currently in their first year second year and obviously third year as well because frankly speaking even I didn't have a lot of information about scholarships at Christ University so I just consulted a few of the faculty members at Christ University to know what really it is and in fact a lot of information on the internet is even not correct they say that there is no scholarship for the people who are joining out who are just joining christ university and scholarships only start from second year and third year all of those things so don't worry guys just watch this video till the end and all your doubts are going to be cleared and i'm going to burst all the myths coming to the first and foremost thing does christ university offer scholarships and the answer to that is yes guys Christ University has scholarships for first years, second years and third years. With first years here I mean the freshers like you all people who will be just applying to Christ University who are just applying to Christ University and are expecting to get an admission from Christ University. So you have scholarships and yes guys you can get a scholarship even before actually paying your fees at Christ University. So this video is super important. I'm going to be telling you about each and everything of how you can apply for those scholarships and can get a fees reduction. So please guys, make sure that you watch this video till the end. In case you like what I do, please give it a thumbs up as well. Now I'm pretty sure you all might be wondering how much scholarship can Christ University offer or you know, what is the total fund like? How can you go about it? To answer that, guys, rupees 4 crore and 50 lakh yes guys i am not bluffing this is the real figure rupees 4 crores and 50 lakhs is the total amount of scholarship which christ university has set aside each year to give it to students in some form of the other through awards scholarships fees concessions everything combined 4 crores 50 lakhs this is a huge sum guys you guys should definitely apply for scholarships and try your luck out there before i even start talking about scholarships let me just tell you guys about the awards at christ university they are again one form of scholarship the award ceremony at christ university takes place each year in march and christ university majorly has three awards first award is award for excellence which is given to all the toppers in all the batches and this is not section wise it is batch wise so which means if you're doing a course in bba then if you have then you have to top the whole bba batch not just your section or your class but the whole of the bba batch once you do that you would get the award for excellence along with that you would get a fees reduction or a refund second award is award for proficiency this award falls under the criteria of academic performance and holistic development this award is nominative in nature which means that all your head of departments your class teachers will be nominating you for this award so please guys have a great rapport with your class teachers and your head of departments because they have because they decide a lot of things and one of those things are the award for proficiency all right the third award is the award for co curricular activities which is for sports and cultures this again is a nominative award which means that your sports teachers your cultural secretaries and your head of departments will be nominating you for this award like i said the award ceremony for all these awards happen in march which means that they take into consideration your whole year's performance for first years second years and third years and then give out this award to you people I'm telling you guys I literally didn't have all of this information when I was studying at Christ so make sure you make the most of it and now that I've given you all the information make sure you perform your best be it for academics or you know just holistic development in general and then obviously take part in as many sports and curricular events and activities that you can so that you get the award for co-curricular activities moving on to scholarships 
so this is what is the crux on the core of this video this is what you guys wanted to know and i've put down all the important details which you guys as freshers as first years as second years as third years should know about Christ University majorly offers two kind of scholarships one is the merit scholarship and the other is the scholarship for financial assistance the merit scholarship as the name suggests is to given to students on meritorious basis which means that you need to perform exceptionally well to get these scholarships for first years which means people like you all who are just applying to Christ University you would be given this merit scholarship based on your performance before entering the college which means your class 10th marks your class 11th marks and your whole academic history throughout along with that you would be given this scholarship based on your first mid sem exams like you would know that christ university in the month of august have their first mid sem exams for all the first years and this award ceremony takes place each year in september so they judge you on the basis of how well you've performed in your class 10th class 11th class 12th all the marks along with that they would take into consideration your mid semesters of the first year which happens in august as well as your attendance okay all these things combined the respective team would make the decision of whether you get this scholarship or not this scholarship will be given to you in the form of a fee refund or a reduction and the break off of which is as follows if your fees is under 10000 rupees you would get a 50% fee refund for that particular year if your fees is between rupees 10000 and 25000 for one whole year you would get a fee refund of 25% If your fees is above twenty thousand per year, you would get a refund of ten percent for that particular year. All right, this is for the merit scholarship, guys. You don't necessarily have to apply anything specifically for this scholarship. Your teachers, your class teachers, your head of departments would automatically be taking the data from all the records that they have and then selecting people who deserve this scholarship, and hence they would be given this merit scholarship. Coming to scholarship for financial assistance, and this is super important for everyone who is applying to Christ University because I personally have received a lot of messages from you people saying that, "Bhaiya, Christ University being a private university, the fees is too high. We cannot afford it. We come from an econom economically weak background. How can we apply to Christ University? Do they have any scholarships?" And yes, guys. Christ University does offer scholarship for financial assistance and this is specifically for people who are who are coming from an economic economically weak background which means that your family's income is not great it's not huge especially for you to study in a private institute and hence they offer these scholarships to all you people the only two things that you have to do as a fresher to get this scholarship is first of all you need to have an income certificate from an official authority around your surroundings which could be uh, which could be at least like a revenue officer around in your locality he or she would come and give an inspection and give you an official certificate which would show your parents and your family income along with that you guys would have to apply specifically for this scholarship with your admission form that you are currently filling for Christ University in the description of this video i've put down the email id of the respective department of Christ University from where you can get this form for scholarship for financial assistance all you have to do is just send them an email that i come from an economically weak background and i would like to apply for the scholarship of financial assistance please send me the form for this particular scholarship all right so this is for everybody who thinks that they cannot afford a, who cannot afford the christ university fees so please guys i put down the email id in the description below pick take up that email and send it to the respective department they would send you the they would send you the scholarship form fill that form and once you get the admission put that form along with it and if you are selected you would get a fee refund or a reduction coming to second years and third years you too have to fill a specific form if you want to get a scholarship for financial assistance in your second year or in your third year again the email id for you is also the same or but with that you have to mention your your roll number and a few details about your course your class teacher all of those things and send it to the respective department and they would give the form to you which you can fill now the break up of this scholarship for financial assistance is that is as follows if you if the course is a self financing course you would get a 0 to 50% fee reduction for that particular year i know a lot of you people might be thinking what a self financing course is so basically self financing courses are all the courses at christ university for which there is no third party like a government also funding the course 
okay so for those specific courses which is just offered by christ university and there is no third party like a company or a government or any other kind of party collaboration uh, they would offer you a fee reduction of 0 to 50 percent if there are other courses which is like if there's some course which is funded by the government or funded by a multinational firm or anything like that you would get a fee reduction of 0 to 90 percent so for all the government aided courses at christ university you can get a fee reduction of 0 to 90 percent which is huge so these are the major two scholarships that christ university offers along with these scholarships christ university also offers other kinds of assistance first and foremost is the installment facility as you all would know you guys have to pay your fees at once in christ university like for all the years first year second year and third year which means at the start of first year you pay the full fees for the first year at the start of second year you pay the full fees for the second year and at the start of third year you pay the full fees for the third year but if you get in touch with the respective departments at christ university they can offer you an installment facility which is on a case by case basis like just in case if they feel that yes you need and deserve this facility they would provide it to you which means that you can break your whole fee structure into one or two installments and you know it would just be reduction of a burden on your family members and your parents along with that christ university also offers alumni association scholarship which means that all the alumni of christ university they donate some amount or the other each year and they make up a fund through which the alumni association provides scholarship to the students that they think deserve it along with that even the alumni association also hosts a lot of uh, competitions and prizes and you know they give a lot of people sponsorships and other things so yes you can apply for all those uh, scholarships as well the details about this can only uh, can only be given to you uh, once you are in the campus and once you've joined the course because the rules keep changing along with that christ university also offers other scholarships and this is these are through again third parties giving you an example like say if goldman and sachs wants to uh, do wants to sponsor a few children studying at christ university so those are the kind of scholarships that can happen even ernst and young for that matter sponsors a few courses at christ university and sponsors a few few children studying at christ university so those are again other kinds of scholarships for them like the process is very simple you apply they see all your performance they see your economic condition and hence the results are given out so all all these details would again be shared with you once you are in the campus but don't you worry if you guys select get selected for any of these uh, scholarships you would get a fee refund okay because uh, the fee reduction is only for merit scholarships and uh, uh, merit scholarships and for scholarships of financial assistance for all the other scholarships which are more like uh, competitions at christ university you would get a fee refund which means whatever you paid at the start of your first year and whatever amount you get in terms of scholarship you would get it back so yes guys that's about it thank you so much for watching this video i just want to let you guys know that i'm helping prepare a lot of students to get into Christ University taking taking their mock interviews. I put down the link of that in the description below. So just in case if you feel that you need to get an edge over everybody else and you want to know where you're actually standing in your current interview prep, make sure you book that mock with me. I'm pretty sure it would be the best investment of your life. All right, guys, if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. Comment below if you have any doubt, questions or queries. Likewise, please, please, please share this video and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you guys get regular notifications of whenever I upload a new video. Along with that, I get motivated to make more videos for all you people. Thank you so much, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.